Alright, Shalom. This is both Jim Best for playing the back of the video. Before we go any further, we're all praise on the glory to the Heavenly Father and the Living God the Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Mephar Badash. The one who's the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone, teach us for the same truth, according to the Bible, will well. In peace and blessings, so for the light of the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, we're going to title this, you know, somewhere along the lines, that's the perfect storm. And I'm not going to make this lesson long, you know, make it straight to the point, but, you know, the perfect storm, this whole, you know, uh, pestilence, you know, this, you know, this, uh, this coronavirus, you know, it has played its part, it has done, you know, it's done well, you see, you know, uh, you see, uproars of the people, you know, people are out of uproar because people don't have masks on, you know, at the same time, you have this whole BLM, you know, nonsense, Black Lives Matter, you know, you got things, you got uh, uh, World War Three brewing up, so this is the perfect storm, you see, you know, 2020 has been the perfect storm, you know, to, 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 um, to afford these prophecies, aka, you know, 2020 being the year of prophecy, you know, that's how you know the Lord is dealing with, you know, that's another time for another lesson, but that's how you know the Lord is dealing with, this is, uh, St. Uh, Matthew 6 and 1, the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, now these were the wicked scribes, uh, scribes and uh, Pharisees, uh, wicked scribes and Pharisees, it says, the Pharisees and also with the Sadducees came and tempting him, desiring him that he would show them a sign from heaven. But, you know, can you not see the signs on the earth? There's signs everywhere. You see, there's signs that we are at the end. Just by the words that we are speaking is testimony enough that we are the prophets of Yahweh Shema Shai. You see? Verse 2, he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It is fair weather, for the sky is red. In the morning, it will be foul weather, foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowry. O oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky. But can you not discern the sign of the times? And that's the problem with our people. That's why this is the perfect storm. Because they still believe in, in the midst of all that we have this 2020 election. Jake thinks that after, you know, this, you know, election, things are going to get better. The, the coronavirus is just going to go away. And things are going to go back to, to normal. You know? Scripture say, where is the sign of his coming? You know, since the fathers uh, fell asleep, all things continue as they were in the beginning of the world. The Lord is, is cussing them out here. He says, Oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the times. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, but there shall none be given. Slacken. But there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas, and he left them and departed. And what was the sign of the prophet Jonas? What did he do? All he did was preach. You see, that's all prophet Jonas did. All he did was preach unto the people and tell them to repent. And it was up to them to take heed to the, to the sign, you see? Um, this is Deuteronomy 18 and 18. And I will raise them I will raise them up a prophet from among thy brethren. Now this prophet is talking about Yahweh Shai. Now Yahweh Shai was raised up and now that he is back on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, he has raised us up. You know, just like it's prophesied in St. Luke 6 and 44, that no man can come unto me unless the Father draw him, and in the last days I shall raise 
am up. So we are being raised up, you see? Like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth. And Yahweh Yahweh Shemesh has put their words in our mouths. You see, now we, in the midst of this, you know, storm, you know, because we're at the calm before the storm, because things really have not gone, have not gotten bad yet. But you can see the clouds coming, you know, you can see, you know, things, it's not going to be a pleasant day. But Jake is still hoping for that sun to come out, and the sun is not coming out, you know? Not until uh, uh, not until the storm comes, you see? The storm has to come for the sun to come back out, and the sun coming out is going to be the elect getting beamed up in those chariots and be given those new bodies in righteousness, starting with, you know, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, King David and the rest of the 12 and the 144,000 in perspective the perspective for their coming back and ruling this earth in righteousness. And it reads, and I'll put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I command him, and it and, and, it, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto him, unto my words which he shall speak in my name, I will require I will require it of him. So, look, the prophets have been out there. They've been warning you. You know, scripts say, uh, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went out into all the earth and their ends unto the end, uh, and the words unto the end of heaven. So, you see the clouds in the sky. You know, you see these things upon the earth, but yet you cannot discern the signs of the times, and the Lord is going to require it of you. Because you're too busy caught up in your own life, you know, your, your head, you got your head in the sand, you know, worry about your own life, you see? But the prophet, but the prophet which shall say, which shall speak, okay, but the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And if thou shalt say in thine heart, How shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet have spoken it pre presumptuously thou shalt not be afraid of him. So what? You're not supposed to be afraid of the false prophets and their words. You know? Scriptures talk about how the elders of the town trembled when Samuel came on the scene because they understood that he was a prophet. You know, that's why in Joel 2 and 1 it says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand. The day of the Lord is coming. You know, the signs of the times are here. You know, this corona, this coronavirus, you know, COVID-19 is the perfect storm. You know, it has a lot of people, you know, still thinking things are going to get back, you know, better again. You know, while this draconian law, you know, really uh, uh, gets tighter and tighter. You know, and the men, the Lord, you know, they're locked in. They're growing in the spirit, you know. Hey, watching for the signs, watching for the times, you know. But Lord's willing, you know, I didn't want to make this lesson too long. Lord's willing, this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of God by Shema Shai. Just a couple things on my mind. You got all these things going on and nobody is watching, you know, but that's how the Lord wants it. He wants some people watching and he wants some people to be caught off, off guard, unawares, you know. With that one, give all praise and honor glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Wadash. The Bible the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone teach on one percent truth according to the Bible and rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.